uh, but he was like, I know we've got business to do. That was a South African. Yeah, that was a perfect South African <laughs> accent. <laughs> like, we have business to do. Yeah, we have much business. That's classic South African accent. Be- much business. <laughs> it's a South African accent. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Nailed it. Hey, welcome to episode 109 of Front Seat Gamer. I'm Nick. I'm here with Severn. Yep. And Blake. Hey, Nick. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. It's going well. How yeah? you doing, Nick? You weren't here last last time. Uh, or was I? Maybe I was just quietly observing. Well, you kept trying time. to say something, and then we were just cutting you off constantly. Oh, so like every other episode of this podcast? Oh, sick burn. No, that's not true. If anything, I probably talk over you guys. How's it going? Are you guys playing anything? <laughs> um, I've been playing. So anyway... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Devin, no. Like, uh, no, I, I was going to ask, did you do anything cool on your day off? Your day off from the podcast? When was this? This was, this uh, was two uh, weeks oh, ago. Oh, that, What that did you do two uh, weeks ago <laughs> for four hours on a Saturday? Uh, I think I... You bought a house. Oh, yeah, there's that. Well, we're in the process of buying a house. Yep. It's it's ongoing. Um, But also, that's when uh, Path of Exile Blight came out that day. You, you're, oh, that's right. You are very <laughs> proud of your work on Blight. Uh, yeah. I mean, I uh, what worked, was your, what, what did I, you do? I, I made Cassia the character and wrote all her dialogue and directed her. So people like her, except all for the people who don't. And says, <laughs> and those people say she's annoying and sucks. Uh, and on annoying how? Huh? <laughs> Annoying how? Oh, uh, she she uh belts out songs as you're approaching her, mm-hmm. or at least there's at least one song she belts out. Yeah. Did Did you write it? The song? Yes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> where, where did this come from? Uh. Uh. I, so I wrote some lyrics, and literally the lyrics are a sentence, and and then uh during the recording session I said sing it like a marching tune, and then I did a version of it, and then she sort of copied me. Mm. And then improvised on top of that, mm. and, and that's what's in game. And is that the specific one that people? Can that look is at? that is the one that people keep. Oh quoting. no! Uh, oh oh! Uh, I mean, yes, it's so much you in that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's also the one that people uh, who people who really like the character really like. Oh, that's the one cool. that people keep quoting. It's the unrighteous returned to ash. If you've been on Path of Exiles Reddit or forums recently, you've probably seen people quoting it. I have. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Uh, you, but you, as well as that though, you were um, saying how proud you were of the, just the general theme. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so this one, the whole fungal thing, uh, was my idea. Because it was going to be when I first heard about it, it was just going to be ghosts. It was like ghosts going to chase you, or or like. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so we went through a whole bunch of idea iterations, and so there were a few things that had to be solved. So okay, top level concept was tower defense and path of exile right and they knew they wanted an npc and then who would be building the towers and uh they knew they wanted there to be paths that start at the like away from this central object that the monsters follow towards the central object which they then destroy so the question is how do you uh theme something which creates monsters and the monsters want to destroy it The answer is I don't know. So, um, <laughs> so I, we gave the same answer that everybody else gave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just silently looked at each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I, I had spent a while thinking about it, and I realized, okay, so there actually there has to be two different elements. There has to be um, the source of the monsters, and there has to be what the monsters are trying to destroy, which has to be next to or at the, uh, at the source. Um, and so I decided there needs to be something that's attacking the source of the monsters, which is what the, is now this pump. Mm-hmm. Um, and the monsters need to be constrained to paths. And the reason for that is, you know, there's something special about whatever the source of the thing is. So in this, in this case, it's the uh, my, the 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 mycelium of the of the fungus. Uh, 
ha- let's say has like some sort of connection to the monsters and the monsters are infected with it and you know there's like the co- whole cordyceps thing which is like a mind control fungus oh yeah last of us i believe yep. bases yeah a lot of its stuff on that and so uh sort of leaned heavily on on those reasonably well-known tropes and yeah that's where we that's where we landed was uh there's a fungus what were the what were some of the other themes that were floating around uh we talked about having like a sort of uh volcanic or molten glass style thing where like it spits out molten glass that then the uh, molten glass monsters travel along molten glass paths okay. towards the center and then when the the path is complete the glass cools and crystallizes mm. uh we talked about the ghosts thing mm. we talked about machines uh, there's a bunch of different stuff, but a lot of it always came back to why are the monsters trying to attack the source of the monsters? Yeah. Is coming up with a reason for them to follow a specific path also tricky? Yes. Yeah. Um, that's why the molten glass thing was one of the yeah, ideas yeah. was like, oh, if, if they're, if the monsters are made of molten glass, of course they can only stay to the molten glass. Yeah. Path. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was, it, it was, it took probably a couple weeks of like, well, maybe less than a, maybe about a week of just coming up with different ideas and and as the mechanics were changing, trying to reskin those ideas to fit the changing mechanics. But uh, the the end result seemed cohesive, which is always what you want. It's cool from a theme. L- looking at it, I didn't think uh, I I didn't get much of that cordyceps vibe from it. Yeah, I mean, I think that that was. I mean, you don't really want it to be like now you're playing The Last of Us, right? I, I don't know. Did, it's a popular game. <laughs> it is. It is. It's pretty hot. <laughs> um, the the monsters have a fungal effect on them. Okay. Uh, but it it's quite subtle, and there's a m- bunch of monsters and a million spell effects going on, so mm. you don't really get a chance to see it. But there's like a fungal effect that sort of creeps up the body. Um, I had been sending Eric a bunch of videos of slime molds, which uh, cool. <laughs> I I found all these time lapses of slime molds on yeah. on youtube and uh those things i don't know if you've ever watched one they're fascinating they're almost beautiful yeah <laughs> i i think they're cool uh they they creep across rocks and they mm-hmm. devour whatever's in their path mm-hmm. and they uh it's interesting because when they when they're looking for food they're in these very thin sort of web-like layers and then when they find food you see the web start to condense oh, wow. into this big lump around the food source Whoa. And then it just like it's like a hive of activity, and then it devours. So is it like a full creature that is like not tethered to anything? It's not... No, it's not a creature. It's it is a uh, like a community of creatures. Oh my god! Uh, and they, it's fascinating because they are all individual single celled organisms that communicate using potentially, I think, like pheromones or something. Uh, I did some reading about it. I don't remember everything, but. Um, uh, the cells can change their function based on the situation yeah. on an individual basis. So even yeah. though like all of the cells are functionally the same thing, uh, when they need to breed, for example, when they when they're in their spore phase, a whole bunch of cells will become like f- basically stalks, mm-hmm. and then like there will be a whole bunch of cells that become the spore producing things, mm. and uh, they start like diverging. It sounds like a great community that all works together. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yep, and it and it eats up all your rot. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so that was my involvement with Blight was a lot of the early ideation and uh, and then of course Cassia. Oh yeah, um, Sam, did you have anything to do with the the league? I remember you saying that there was like when we mentioned it once, you were like, "Oh, there's some cool tech coming for it." But yeah, I've forgotten now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, th- there's always a lot going on at work. There's yeah. like, and sub- it's... <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, subsurface stuff going on on the actual fungal globe thing. The, oh, yeah. The big pulsating yellow sphere. Yeah, yeah. M- maybe that was the refraction tech that was happening yeah. at the time. Um, we, we had, I, I think we had some for Delve, didn't we? Refraction tech? May- hmm. I don't know if it was in, I remember seeing, um, Alex. Mm like have a sort of talk about it yeah i don't know if it was actually in delve or if it was just being like worked on yeah this seemed like a version two of that Uh, and it was way cooler and yeah that thing (laughs) whatever that thing was that pulsing 
glowy what it um i call it the spore mass uh, the, the spore mass that's what i think it's called on a mushroom there's also yeah. like a pump next to it right yeah well, what's what's the story with that well that's the thing that the monsters are trying to destroy right the so pump? yeah th- this was one of the big problems that had to be solved from a theme perspective is mm. Um, why are monsters coming from the outside and working their way in, mm-hmm. right? And it, so that there needed to be a second enemy entity. Um, so you've got like the spore mass, which mm-hmm. is like the the object that the that is controlling the monsters, and then you've got the pump. Uh, the pump is pumping spore juices out of or or or, or fungal juices out of the uh, out of the spore mass hmm. because they're dangerous. Okay, I guess, huh. and. Uh, uh, that's she's that's how she's trying to destroy it because gotcha. you know here's an interesting fact about fungi when you're looking at a mushroom <laughs> yeah that's uh just the fruit yeah it's all on the ground right? yeah the yeah, actual yeah. the actual plant or the actual fungus itself like mm. the thing that matters is like this big network of tendrils underground isn't, isn't there this like this giant fungus that's like one like that it's one like entity but it it's the size of like a town or something, and it's all like under this like one town kind of thing. Maybe I've I've heard Probably. of this weird thing, and people like you know dig it up, and they're like, oh, here's a piece of it and stuff. Yes, but it's and certainly it's just plausible. like this giant like big network. Thing. Of, yeah, this of giant tendrils. network. Yeah. yeah, it's like that those trees that are all yeah the groves. Tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, there's like those uh, groves that have these roots that put up new trees. Yeah, and, and it's, it's all just, basically it's, the one tree. It's all just one tree. <laughs> yeah, hmm. um, but. So there's a similar thing that happens with fungus. Yeah. And so my my logic is uh, you can't really attack something that's underground mm. efficiently from above ground mm-hmm. unless you are like siphoning liquid out of it. And and like if you if you're extracting the the you know the fluids that allow it to thrive, yeah. then the thing will die. Yeah. So she that's the that pump is there for. Right. Um yeah, I think the tick was probably that refraction stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a tangent. Yeah. Um Talking about that pump, so like for yeah. other themes, did you come up with other like like versions of the pump, like of of? What oh, the I think it was always trying a pump. To, <laughs> it was to always stop. a pump. It was always a pump because I, no. I realized <laughs> the, the logic had been like, yeah, okay, so what can you do to kill a yeah. fungus? So even when it was ghosts, oh, it's a pump. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, well, that's the thing. No, like, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. Um, like when it was, it took things. a while for us to get to that point. Yeah, where it was, there were two things because we kept. Uh, and it wasn't only me coming up with ideas. Like we had had um, Al- Alex, for example, had been coming up with ideas. Well, which Alex? Uh, oh, I forgot his last name. Doctor Alex. Alex? Yeah, Doctor Alex. Yeah, yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Nev. Ne- ne- no. Uh, Sunny Cove. Yeah, Senikov. That's because for for listeners, I think we have three Alexes at yep. work, and they're all Russian. <laughs> Uh, How do you differentiate? I, I've just got QA Alex. Alex. Yep. Uh, physics Alex. Okay. Ah. Uh, Artist Alex. Yeah. There's a there's a fourth. Is there? Yeah. Oh my. On the God. programming team. Programming Alex. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I haven't yeah. met this fourth. Is he is, is, is he, he Russian? He, yeah. Is he Russian? No. <laughs> oh well, he doesn't <laughs> oh, we... fall into this trio. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Alex, if you're listening. <laughs> He's just you're not, not Russian, Russian enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, but uh, if Felipe affects Felipe had mm-hmm. been coming up with some ideas as well. But it always came down to the problem of why, why are the monsters attacking the thing? And why do they start at the outside? And why are they constrained to these paths? There's, there's just the, there were these mechanical limitations that had to align with the story. Mm. Otherwise, it was going to be weird. They, mm. they come in through portals. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, I would have preferred that they like dig themselves up from the ground. Yeah, or like materialize from the thing. E- yeah. But, um, you know, <laughs> art. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Lazy artists. Oh, Lazy is that true? Right? Uh, well, I you think, tell me. I think you mean busy artists. Oh, yeah? How much work did you do on Blight again? I did none. Yeah. Because okay, I was cool. too busy uh-huh. on <laughs> other things. It's <laughs> too busy getting a TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Blake bought a TV. Yeah, I bought a TV. We're it was the first it. TV I've ever bought in my whole life. Mm-hmm. They, they misspelled TLC. Yeah, that's true. I did ask for the, the TLC themed. Uh, yeah, you said, I want a TV that makes me think of. Uh, Destiny's Child, Beyonce's early days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, but TLC was a wait a second. You you're confusing. I'm confusing. <laughs> yeah, but also <laughs> he did the exact same thing. He said it reminds me of Destiny's Child. Yeah. Well, they were they were two girl bands. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, that were very similar. Vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the joke. Yep. Yep. That was the joke. That was the joke. 
Do you ever think? Um, no, I don't. Like That's one of the problems. Some listeners, yeah, don't get these out of date references Definitely. that we throw in. Hundred <laughs> percent, okay. dude. There's, there's, hang on, out of date. <laughs> who's talking about TLC? Yeah, who's talking uh, about TLC? <laughs> yeah, or I Destiny's could... Child? <laughs> <laughs> Who even remembers that? <laughs> those both of those come up at trivia more often than. Uh, That's than because it's people really our age making the trivia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, there are there are a lot of. What's shocking me now is that there are a lot of like young people at work, like early twenties, mm. that just do not get anything that I'm talking about. Yeah, you got to talk about Harry Potter. Potter yeah, or I'll be saying stuff about oh, when I was a kid, thinking that you know they'll they'll know this. No, they have no clue. Um, in fairness, Blake, even when you're not making references, I don't know what you're talking about about half the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I, I get that. <laughs> Uh, it's it's a nice TV. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got a high energy rating. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Which is good. I didn't expect that. Is that what you? Uh, that, well, hang on. How did you not expect it? It's got a sticker stuck to it. I mean, I didn't even think. I, dude, when I buy something, I don't even think of the energy rating. Did you buy it online? Yeah, I bought it on. Yeah. Had, had you gone into a shop to see it? Nope. So no, but that is madness. To here's me. here's here's the thing. Uh, um, Ash at work. He had just bought a TV exactly like that. Uh-huh. Not exactly like that. This is a model slightly, slightly better. Okay. Um, and I was asking him for like the last month how it is. Only got good feedback from him. So I was uh-huh. like, all right, I'm getting it. Well, he's not exactly going to be like, oh, I hate this thing I bought. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the, is it the spotlight effect? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Where, where you buy a thing and then you're just like, it, you're positive about it. Yeah, because yeah. Because you justify it to yourself. Uh, I don't. Why would it be called the spotlight effect? Fuck, I might be confusing the effects uh, now. <laughs> I think it might be a different effect you're thinking of, but endowment effect is that the one? Uh, uh the o- effect. ownership effect. Uh, there's there's like an ownership bias. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, I, I'm I'm trying to hint on that thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Trying to... I don't know, but I was I was I, I was looking at his face for any signs of like you know. Yeah, but you look at his face a lot anyway. Do, do I? <laughs> yeah, we, we've all noticed yeah, it. Because I always, I, I'm always, noticed it. I'm always checking if he's lying. <laughs> yeah, you've got this what's weird obsession with Ash lying. <laughs> what's his tell? I have no idea. I'm, this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> he does or he doesn't know if he's been lying or not. Yeah. Is, is what we've <laughs> so how's that TV? That's pretty great. I only got it. <laughs> I only got it yesterday. I. I yeah, I'm... I I would never trust anyone's opinion on a thing. <laughs> I mean, you could have ended that sentence earlier. And it would still be true. <laughs> well, it worked out like right, a TV. How's he How's he going to describe it to you? It's real bright, it's smooth. All the colors smooth. are there. <laughs> got all the colors. It's got a remote. <laughs> yeah, sound comes out of it. Yep, I plug it right into my wall. <laughs> Variable sound. Well, here's, levels. Okay, here's something he was down on. He thought he he said that the sound, the speakers in it, mm. were no good. I turned it on. I'm like, wow, these speakers are loud. These are great. <laughs> They're so loud. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Well, can barely just... make out anything. <laughs> it's just a loud buzzing. I love it. <laughs> it's just static. <laughs> wow, so loud. <laughs> what a great feature. Yeah. Well, I'm it's happy with it. Sleep? I'm, I'm happy with this purchase. I'm glad. But it sounds like you would have been happy with any TV. Yeah. It does, it does sound <laughs> that like that. That is the problem from going from a 14-inch, like, uh, tube television mm. to a modern tv yeah a it's flat. just like anything is better yep yes yeah but not you, necessarily this is, i i this uh, is an upgrade last, you have to admit yeah. last year i hired a television um <laughs> <laughs> where <laughs> from from mr rental okay yeah um because we were we were having an event it was like blizzcon and okay. all my mates were oh, coming right, around right, right, right. yeah so i had this tv and i hired it and it was I mean, it was fine, but like, man, I would not want to buy a television like that. It was, it was just, you know, the, the speakers. The speakers were no good. <laughs> Very quiet speakers. I had to plug in my computer speakers to it wow. to to get any sound out of it. Um, but it like, I it, feel like you may have just not had the volume up, I, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Like the TV's right up, but like this the computer. This is realizing now. Oh, the volume. The volume. <laughs> the volume. That's what that plus and minus was. But um, I thought it would just make the TV bigger or smaller. So I, I had like... that. So I had that TV to also compare this one to. Uh, yeah. And that was not a great TV. But opinion. just 
to reconfirm. But I guess the idea is that yeah, um, I'm comparing it the my current TV to TVs that are clearly worse. But also, I just want to I just want to reconfirm. You're comparing you're you're comparing a TV that you rented, yeah, to a TV that someone told you about that you didn't actually see. Hey, and then, it's and then you out. said, "Well, that sounds good. I'll buy I it." Didn't, dude, I didn't buy it on a whim. I spent like a good month, like asking him continually. Uh huh. He didn't think. Also, also, I watched a comparison video. Oh, between this TV and a Sony television. Oh. Okay. And I was like, "Yeah, this TV. This is the one. Uh, I'll get this who, one." Who? So you watched one comparison yeah. video? Did you read any reviews? Yeah, they're all positive. Okay. Oh, cool. You know what? If you're happy with the TV, I just you know what? Are you? I I I, I struggle to to I I would very much struggle to buy a thing where the whole purpose of the thing is to watch and listen <laughs> to it, and then you don't see it, and then I don't go to a store to watch and listen yeah. to it. Well. Ash also bought his TV without seeing it. He he went you and, be he, like and Ash. he thought he thought this guy this guy's got he's shown good judgment so he, far. He went into the store and he saw TVs and he was like, "Oh yeah, these TVs." Uh, and then the guy was like, "Hey, we've got uh, a 55 inch because he was just looking at the 50 inches and he's like, "We've got a 55 inch out the back. How how would you like that one?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'll take that one." And it wasn't on display. So he Okay, but it's the same he had seen the same oh. brand. <laughs> So he had he had at least seen it in a store. <laughs> it's not like oh that five inches that really is going to affect the quality. Oh. Same same model, right? It's just larger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll get that one. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see that TV he brought, but he saw the same model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's pretty close. Yeah, like, I can I can <laughs> like, see what that. The hell? Blake it's is not, like, well, what an idiot! He didn't see the. <laughs> I did exactly what Ash did. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I was uh, gonna order a pizza, and I saw this pizza on a, <laughs> on the Pizza Hut website, and I said I'll take that pizza, and they said, okay, Would you well, like it bigger. <laughs> we've got, we've, we, we'll make one fresh, and you're like, no, thank you. I only oh. want the one I've already seen. I don't know. Well, look, I'm happy with this TV. I think it's great. You, you go to the Japanese restaurants and you order the plastic food in the window. I want That's, that one. <laughs> yeah, that, that one, the one I've seen. Yep, <laughs> it's the one on display. I uh, I took the TV for a spin yep. just just before recording. It it's good. See, Sam says it's good. Although it's Sam says it's got it. less nits than his. It's got it's got fewer nits. It's got fewer nits. <laughs> Growing up, that was a good thing, but now <laughs> no, it's not. You, you, <laughs> now you want, you want more nits. nits. You want way more nits. Wow. Yeah, we checked. We yeah, we checked it out on like the what was that HD channel on YouTube. Oh yep. yep, yep. Looked nice. Oh, is that what, the, what was playing when I came in? Yeah, yeah. It just looked like stock footage. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that's looked, what it is. It looked exactly like the thing they play in the TV store. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that's exactly what it is. Cool. Okay. Yeah. What else are you going to show? Yeah, like a sitcom, a video game, Seinfeld. <laughs> oh right, sure. So how how many K is it? Is it all of the K? Is it the four K? It's got four. It's four K. Four K. Yeah. Have they got the eight Ks out yet? I don't know. I feel like they are coming. Or or the sixteen. Is, are we, I don't are we, think are we, are we jumping to sixteen? We're not. No way. No. <laughs> well, way. I mean, okay. We're no. Not jumping to sixteen. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Well, hang on. <clears throat> Was there an intermediary between uh, ten eighty and four? Was there? Was there? A, was there a middle step? Uh, Twenty one sixty was the thing. Like computers had. Yes, I've seen the, the they had those monitors, but what about TVs? I don't know that TV's yeah, I don't, ever had I don't a middle step. Ever seeing someone be like, "This is a two K." What? I don't know. Or maybe they just maybe that was like Ultra HD that they they advertised it as. Oh, okay, maybe. I I, yeah. I did happen to catch a um. There are these uh, digital foundry. Yeah. Those guys have been playing on like old ass. Uh, what are they called? Tube. Yep. Uh, the what, CRTs. Yeah, CRTs. Yeah, yeah. And that Sony one that they were doing reviews on, which apparently has incredible picture quality. What? Um. Is twenty one sixty? Oh wow! Yeah, it's one of those weird hmm. resolutions. Uh, the Sony one that this it's... TV was compared to? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, watch the comparison between this TV <laughs> and a CRT. Yeah, from twenty years ago. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it's way better. And and this one, you were like, oh, it's flat. Yeah, <laughs> it's real flat. Well, actually, that was wasn't that your first comment when you walked in? <laughs> when I well, no, when I walked in, I was telling you that I went to uh. I went to a place that was selling TVs, mm-hmm. 
And I was shocked by how flat one of the TVs was. I, it was so thin. I couldn't believe it. It was literally like a centimeter thin. Do you feel that it's dangerously thin? I was like, this is this seems like you could thin. break it. If, yes. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't. I, I, it broke me. It broke me. Oh, I, I just, was looking at it. Going, fell to your knees. How could it be so thin? Like, Why? <laughs> yes. God has forsaken this television. <laughs> Uh, so, so far, what you've been playing? <laughs> uh, sorry, I, was, I was chuckling because, um, man, th- there's this LG TV, which is like wallpaper thin. It's like half a centimeter oh, thin. Oh right? my god! And Horrible. you just like hang it on your wall. No, don't you like just, it. You just paste it like wallpaper. <laughs> you just like, <laughs> glue it up there. You roller it on. Yep. You just uh, just a wire that comes. <laughs> and it was cr- it's got this this screensaver that looks like wallpaper, and you can just like. Dude, I camouflage your TV. I really like that idea. I want to get <laughs> fucking get like make it look like it's a see-through <laughs> part, TV. That part of so the cool. part of the wall. Yeah, you could just take a photo of the wall behind it. Yes, and then, I think that's what I'll do. You've, you've got a. You've got. I can see you've got your router behind your TV. Yeah, if I take a photo of that take router. Take a photo of the router on the. That on would be so stand, cool. And then make that your. Screen. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I kind of love it. It only works from a specific angle. Yeah, yeah. But I still love the idea. Still, yeah. I don't like it. What do you <laughs> anyway, um, uh, shit. I've been playing Control, more, more Control. Yeah, oh, how yep. is that? It's it's good, man. I I'm I'm really enjoying it. Um, I I don't get big into like superhero video games. Yeah, ne- never played Spider Man or anything, but this, I feel like a freaking superhero, just killing bad guys, with uh, what would you say, telekinesis? Spider Man would kill anybody. Throw, throw How was that a gun? What's that? Powers and a gun, and the oh, gun oh, yeah. even has powers, right? Because it's like, does the yeah. what's the what powers does the gun have? It can change into a sniper rifle, <laughs> a <laughs> it, sniper it pistol turns into a bigger gun. Yeah, bigger gun or smaller gun. <laughs> it's like a shape shifting gun. Yeah, they had that in Perfect Dark. Do you remember Perfect Dark? Uh, I I know I played it. I don't remember it. Perfect Dark had uh two guns that were alien weapons, and you would feed balls of goo into them. <laughs> and, oh, wow. and one of them uh, was a sniper rifle and it had like heat vision yeah and could shoot through walls oh it was that could... eraser gun huh from Annie's movie eraser See, this is another one of those <laughs> references that no one is going to care about but i know like, the movie give the times i know i know the movie you're talking yeah yeah about. yeah um yeah basically that yeah but it was <laughs> I, that well, i think what was it called the farsight i don't know i think it was called the farsight or something it was it, that that was still one of the coolest guns. Also, uh, they had the Slayer rocket in that game, which was like a rocket you could control. It went into first person. Oh man, yeah. that's cool. And uh, and they had the suit gu- the the suitcase turret. Do you remember the suitcase turret? No, man. <laughs> perfect. The original Perfect Dark. Let me guess. Was it a turret in a suitcase? You. It was. It looked like a suitcase. Yeah. And then you would throw it, and it would turn into a turret. That's cool. It was awesome. Uh, that game genuinely had the coolest weapons in any game to date, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. This one to me feels like it's got the best weapon in oh, yeah? the video game. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Because uh, it can shape shift. It's got an idle animation. Really? <laughs> the gun has an idle animation. Is it like <laughs> a? What does it do? It's That's just like new? it's just like twitching. Oh wow! It's like I don't know, it's, it's, it's streaming kind of on the, the, through the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's got these like um, oblongs that kind of hang below where the uh, barrel is, like yeah. on the side of the barrel. And, and like yeah, float? they're just like vibrating. Oh man, have you played Half Life? No, that game. Had... Well, I have played it, but um, I don't remember anything about it. That game had some great uh, idle animations for its weapons. Oh yeah, yeah. There was a uh, I forget the name of the the weapon, but it was like a little creature that you'd throw out, and it would just run and attack anything near it, including mm. yourself. Yeah. Oh. And and while you're holding it, it would try and like nip at your fingers. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, it's really good. Um, shit. Yeah, it's it's good. It's like everything about this game, it's it just looks really next gen. Yeah, everything I'm all about. I think I might get this. Um, yeah, it's fun, yeah. and it's only on the uh, Epic Store. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's one of those games. Is it on PlayStation as well? Oh yeah, it is too. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. it's on consoles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only on the Epic Store. Yeah. Only on the Epic Store <laughs> and all the consoles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on either one of those consoles. Yeah, but um, oh man, apparently so... performance is like iffy. Oh, okay. Was there any uh, controversy of it being on the Epic Store? Because you know how that sort of a thing recently is Epic sniping uh, things. From... I don't know. I don't kind of follow any oh, okay. of that. 
I haven't followed that for a while, but there was a there was a time like just a month or two ago that mm. Epic were like, um, like like seducing other games over from like Steam, and the problem and the big problem was that like these were games that weren't out yet, but had said that they were on going to be on Steam. Yeah, and like, so that people had pre-ordered and them. people had already pre-ordered, and yeah. But I think they honored those pre-orders. That's good. Call, or mm. they refunded them. Either way. Yeah. But also, to me, look, I think we may have also talked about this previously. I think that whole controversy is very dumb because uh, console exclusive. They were, I've seen people comparing it to console exclusivity. Mm. Uh, you don't have to pay like five hundred dollars to get the yeah, no, it is, games it, launcher. It yeah. is just another app. It's, it's that a you download. Just open and go. Yeah, I'll play it here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's such a oh yeah. my goodness. I but then I've seen these extra seconds logging in. Okay, if you really get if you really get into this, people are like, oh, the the Unreal Store is unsafe and it's like spying on you and there's like Chinese spyware and shit. Oh. Okay, then don't get the and game. You're just like oh. I don't I don't know how. I think people are just. For some reason, very brand loyal to Steam, which is crazy to me because competition is going to be really healthy. Yeah, I think. <sighs> it, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I just, you know, it's... I, it, it it is kind of a shitty thing. I think though that you you pay something on Steam and then they're like, yeah, it's not going to be here. Yeah, no, I like, I I that, I but, I don't like that. But but if it's just like, oh, here's the thing that's just coming out on on uh, Unreal. On Epic Store, then it's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with the other case as long as like the people who paid for the thing either get the thing or get their money back. Sure. Uh, well, one other cool thing about the Epic Store is they'll give you uh, free games yeah. every, every now and yeah, again. Yeah. I, I've got the Witness. I like. Oh, did you? Ever, oh, did you cool. play that? No, but it's it's on my library. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like every every like couple weeks, they'll just give you a free game. Yeah. And my library's like, it's. Probably larger than my Steam library oh, now. Oh. Um, right now they've got um, all the Batman games because it's like the 80th anniversary of like Batman comics. Oh, oh wow! Nice. And so all that trilogy and the Lego trilogy is, is, is on the Epic <laughs> Store for free. What? So you can pick that up right oh, now. Man. I gotta get on this. Yeah. Um, I stopped. I hey, stopped Severn, are you are you being paid by Epic Games right now? Yeah. <laughs> I, I work exclusively for. <laughs> Rockstar and Epic, uh-huh. <laughs> and and, and Grindr, yeah. so not exclusively. No, 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 no. <laughs> exclusively for these three very different things. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ten cent, basically. Ten cent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and and hey, speaking of launches, there's a Rockstar launcher. Oh yeah, the there is a Rockstar. Launcher. Yeah, isn't they've that, had that for a long? Isn't time, that haven't they? No. Isn't that bad though? That Rockstar launcher. You know, if it gets me closer to a Red Dead g- game <laughs> on fine. PC, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm okay yeah. with it. Actually, you know what? I, when, if and when Red Dead comes out on PC, and it will, because mm. it's, you know, why wouldn't they? Mm. They said the same thing about the GTA not coming to PC. Yeah, but, but PC. the first Red but, Dead didn't come out, you know? Yeah, that, yeah. that one. That's yeah. the one that threw everyone. That's yeah, so that's weird true. that it didn't. That's true. Like, I, I don't understand why it didn't. Mm. It's a very good question. I don't know. Because it came out on Xbox. Let's ask the resident Rockstar employee. <laughs> on Xbox, it came out on all consoles, man. Yeah, but I'm, um, <laughs> I'm like, it's Microsoft. Uh, did it come out on the Nintendo, Nintendo Wii? I don't think so. No, they, they don't have console. good games. Real, real, real console. Yeah, real console. <laughs> Ooh, um, man. But yeah, if it gets me closer to you know, uh, Red Dead Two. Yeah. On PC. How many? Holy shit! How many Red Deads have you bought so far? I just brought, <laughs> dude, uh, I brought the most expensive collector's edition whoa. like when it came out. How much was that? Which didn't include the game, by the way. What? <laughs> what? So I picked that up in the game. <laughs> oh my god, how much was the collector's edition? I, th- I think that was like 400 bucks. Oh, dude. It didn't I w- have the game? Oh, sorry, including the game. Uh, well. I was just Even looking so. I was just looking at the Cyberpunk collector's edition. Yeah. It's 500 bucks. What oh are they god. what do they got in that? I think they got a whole bunch of stuff. They got a physical map. Is Keanu, is Keanu in there? You get Keanu for a day. Get, dinner with Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> they got the art book in there. That's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. And they yeah, and the like compendium or something like that. But then they've got they've got their like their big collector's edition that's five hundred bucks. And then mm-hmm. they have like a day one uh sort of edition that is like like it's got a compendium and it's got some stickers and it's got a physical map. And that's that's only like a hundred bucks, it? and it's got the game. Okay. Yeah, and it's got some like digital stuff as well. But because I've got like a deck of playing cards, a, a little uh, oh, Red Dead, Red em- Dead. emblem. And oh stuff. man, that's cool. There's like there's a whole bunch of bandana. <laughs> I've never seen you wear this bandana. <laughs> no, and I would never 
want to wear this bandana because it's a collector's item. Man, <laughs> lend, lend it to Nick when he's dealing with the asbestos in his new house. <laughs> no, man. Like, no one's going to use this bandana. <laughs> well, what about, you want me to dye asbestos, Severn? Is that? Yeah. He You've needs a... a bandana. <laughs> You've got a shirt. What if I need to, uh, like, rob a train? Well, get your own and I'll come okay. help you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, for, for listeners, the, the, the house that Nick bought is riddled with asbestos. <laughs> It's not riddled with this. It contains asbestos. As, as long as we don't like, as long as we don't take like a, a like a bandsaw to it, it's fine. It should be fine. If, but if I do die of lung cancer, that's probably be, if only I had a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> curses, curses. Yep. Um, Blake. Yes. You've been playing something. I've been playing the same game I've been playing for like the last month. And what game is that? Civ. Okay. And tell me more. Uh, so I got about a quarter of the way through the uh, marathon game that I started. Uh, just for clarification, you got a quarter of the way through something that has no win condition? <laughs> yes. How do you know it was quarter? Uh, that the, is tech really the, crux- <laughs> hmm? the tech tree. The tech tree. I got a quarter of the way you got a quarter of the way through an maybe a infinite third. I'm amount gonna of say time. maybe a third of the way through the tech tree. <laughs> okay. 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 And I started. I had raced ahead. I had gone so far ahead. Okay. Of, ahead of who? All the other civilizations. In what capacity? In technology. Oh, okay, but <laughs> but uh, does that matter? Well, yeah, because it means that I can just dominate them. There's no threat to me anymore. Uh, but you can't win. It's not. It's not about winning, Nick. I'm dominating. Okay. <laughs> Go on, sorry. Yeah, and so I was like, this is no longer a challenge. There's no challenge left anymore. I've won. <laughs> I feel I've won. Okay, yep. So I started again. <laughs> Wait, what What were the other guys on? Uh, they were in, like, medieval age, and I was in, like, uh, late industrial age. So, right, okay. So I was starting, I, I was getting close to, like, having tanks and stuff, and they still had, like... Horses. Yeah, horses and stuff, and Ooh. I was like, ah, oh, this is... And the... the, and the the difficulty I was playing on, like, they, there wasn't much, like, really going on. Everyone was, like, too peaceful. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you can have that. And I was like, I don't like this. And I didn't like being Everyone's there. having a nice day on their horses, and you're rolling around yeah. trying to shoot them with your And tank. I felt like the only way to, like, get this game going is to just start attacking people. But then my tech is so high, I'm just rolling over. I'd be rolling over everyone. So that's when I decided... I feel I've won this game. Uh huh. You're also kind of an asshole. Everyone's like happily getting along. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, there's nothing going on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just peacefully expanding. This is lame. I, I need some action. <laughs> I built up these weapons. Yeah, I built up all these weapons. Um, I, the, so the, the best, the best thing I did in that game was have this like, um, like a holy war, a religious <laughs> war with a, a jihad. In a yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I had a holy war. With um, with <laughs> with Scotland, <laughs> uh, you were the who were Jewish. You were the you were the Maori. Yep. Okay. I, so... I founded my own religion. <laughs> uh, I would like Nick. What do you think New Zealand's religion is? Oh, I couldn't even begin to guess. To rugby. Oh, okay. Yep. So I founded rugby. That makes sense. Yep. So I founded rugby, and I was spreading the good word of rugby. Uh huh. Um, and what, uh, what's through cool, jihad. Yeah. Yeah. But what's, what's cool is that like your, um, your like, uh, religious units that you make, uh, even if you're not at war with, with, uh, another nation, they can still attack, um, religious units of another faith. <laughs> okay. And they, they also, it's true to life. Yeah. And they also go in and they like convert, um, cities. Yeah. And so I was just going through sweeping through Scotland, just like. <laughs> Attacking his like religious units, taking like taking his uh, like converting his cities. He yeah. was really pissed off about it, but I was like, I'm just spreading the word. You know, I'm just spreading the good word of rugby. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. And then eventually, just <laughs> took took it all over, and it was great. And what's awesome is that like my religion has tithing. Okay. Yeah. So I get money for every like uh, I think four followers. Uh huh. So the more followers I get, the more money I get. Yeah. So basically, religion. Yeah, 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 and it uh, was great. But I said I had such a huge amount of income. I was just buying units. I wasn't even like building them anymore. Yep. Um, and that's why I felt like I'd won. Yeah. What difficulty were you playing? Uh, I can't remember. It was it was one step. There's like six difficulties. Uh huh. So this was probably like 
Oh, shit. I don't even know. It was... The easiest? It was the third difficulty. Okay. And I'm now playing on the fourth difficulty. Ooh. So I've restarted. Just just a real quick check here. You've, you've started yet another... I've started yet another marathon, marathon game. game. Uh, are there win conditions? Yes. Uh-huh. And are you having more fun? So far, yes. Okay. Why? Because it's on a harder difficulty, Nick. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there's more action happening. I've already been attacked by Spain. Okay. Uh, and, uh, that feels important because... Nick. Okay, so here's also a thing. I turned on all the victory conditions. Yeah. I also downloaded a mod they so I cannot them. see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What any anyone's victory conditions? I can't see. Like I click on the victory condition button, there's nothing. Nothing happens. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. That's how I, it should be. And I also downloaded a mod that made the map like twice as big. Uh, <laughs> so, like, it's a marathon game on an enormous world. Yep. But at least there are win. There are win conditions. Awesome. I'm ex I'm actually yep. excited to hear how this game plays out. Can you actually just this once, Blake? Just finish it. Just well, be, so, finish a game. So far, like so far, that that one extra step in difficulty, like, is much has, has made the game much more interesting. There's more going on. Yeah. Um, S Spain out of nowhere just like like uh, declared a surprise war because there's <laughs> surprise there's, war. Yeah, it was like that. There's there's because there's several different types of war that you yeah. can do. You can do like a surprise war. You can do like. All out war. That's where they invite all your friends over and then kill you. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, and there's like, there's also like uh, wars just to get back certain things, like cities that have been taken and stuff. And there's like this whole like grievances thing. Like the the more um, the more uh, aggressive somebody is to you, yeah, you get like grievancy points, uh -huh. um, and that means that you can do things to that. Uh, other empire and with everyone the, else is like, when everyone else fine. is cool with it everyone yeah. else is cool with it that's pretty cool yeah I, so i like that so they they launched a surprise war against me i don't know why i thought we were good friends but well that's what makes it a surprise yeah. right like, and then he just he came down with all it, this was in like the ancient era when we just had club clubmen and stuff clubmen clubmen <laughs> you, so you were clubbing well, yeah we were we just had people <laughs> going to the clubs yeah yeah we just had you know barbarian guys with yeah. like clubs <laughs> And um, <laughs> Sam's laughing. It's too good. Yeah, and he just came down with like all these things, and I was like, "Oh shit, what am I gonna do?" So like, I just like bunkered down in my one city that he was like attacking. Yeah, and like like just started building up more and more clubs. Clubs. Yeah. So you've got a city full of clubs. Yeah, yeah. So I got, uh, yeah, I did have a city full of clubs, uh -huh. and the surrounding area were full of clubs as well. <laughs> and then I just pushed. Bring in the club. Yeah, I'm bringing the club. Yeah. So I just pushed. Yeah, it's party city. It was party uh -huh. city. I was just pushed. I then I got to a point where I could push all his clubs back. I took over his town with my clubs. I took over all his like he had like five cities. Mm. I took them all over, and he was very pissed off with that. But what? Was, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but well, I, what? What I think oh, is clubs. what I think is what I think is interesting is that like I say, he he declares a surprise war. Yeah. Right. That means I get like a certain number of like grievancy points, so yeah. I can now do stuff to him without the the other um, civilizations around getting pissed off. Yeah. But it would seem I pushed it too far because like I taking over all his cities, all the other civilizations <laughs> like, around, guys, that's a little too far. Yeah, all the other civilizations around are really pissed off with me. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. he started it. This was a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and now not only, and so the war ended, I, I, I didn't fully wipe him out. He had another city that was like hidden somewhere yeah. behind some mountains that I didn't, I didn't spot, but, he kept he kept sending me uh um like negotiations to be like peace and you can keep all my cities just stop like fighting me <laughs> just stop murdering just stop, everyone please just stop and I kept saying refusing enough clubs and the, please and the funny There's thing no I, I kept refusing because I wanted to wipe him out I was like you bloody started this mate <laughs> no wonder everyone stop with you and it's like <laughs> every time I refused it <laughs> okay, just okay I'm sorry about the war too bad <laughs> yeah you started it mate this is the consequences and yeah every time I refused it just like worsened my my, <laughs> my standing with all the other civilizations around. Whoa, what a But shocker. I was like, he started it. Yeah, but you continued it. I'm finishing it. Oh, anyway, if, anyway, I got to a point where I was like, I can't find his other city. <laughs> so, the whole city and it's missing. It's missing. So I, I, I accepted his his uh, his peace treaty. Yeah. And so like I now own all his old cities. Yeah. 
Uh, I found his other one city that was like hidden behind some mountains. Uh huh. Um, but it triggered uh, a, a few turns later. It triggered a um, like a like a uh, world congress meeting uh-huh. where there was a special vote to get one of his cities back. Oh, interesting. And it was like it, it's people like the 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 nations vote for these things. Yeah. So they they can like basically they're saying they can join this like this group that are going to work together to try and get we'll call it the UN. Yeah, he, the, well no no no, I mean they can join they can join a force that will try and like get the city back. NATO. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Um so like not everyone joined like uh, America was also in the same continent. They didn't join. They okay. they were like, "No. Nah, so, we don't want to we don't want to help out." Uh NATO during the Trump era. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, they they <laughs> left that. Um but yeah, like Canada and Spain are now trying to like work together to get uh, one of his cities back, and it's like this event that r- lasts for like fifty turns. That's cool. And they get special bonuses, and I get like. Uh, so are they at war with you again? Then they are at war with me, but only for as long as that that fifty turns. Okay, and, and then you, and you can just like sit there and defend that. I city. just have to defend that city, and I'll if if I manage to defend it, I get like some sort of bonus by the, at the end. And if they take it, they get like some sort of bonus. That's cool. Um, this is this also comes up when because there are natural natural disasters. Okay, uh, and. If you get hit by a particularly bad one, it can trigger a um, like a, a world relief effort. Yeah, a world relief effort, and That's then cool. everyone, uh, if you want to vote, if you want in, you can join this thing, and then you can like send people like aid, and the person who sends them like the most aid gets like rewards at the end. Neat. Yeah. Um. Had, had you done? Had you experienced any of this in the previous? Case? I'd experienced um the uh like relief effort, like giving someone uh-huh. giving a nation aid. Oh, that! But you hadn't experienced. I the war hadn't expended the war cool. stuff, yeah. Uh, and what was kind of bummed me out, me out, because Canada was like my best, uh, my best ally. <laughs> and you pissed him off. And yeah, he joined this thing, being like, "Yeah, we're gonna get, <laughs> gonna go to war with you to get this city back." But he also, he also, I love it. they're like, uh, "Actually, Spain, no, I kind of see it." But yeah, I'd also had a. He's, I'd, he's a dick. I, <laughs> so. I, he was my greatest trade partner. I was getting a lot of trade from that guy, and now I had to like. I had to. It's such a Canadian thing to do. Yeah. This, what? <laughs> this, I reckon this polite. Yeah. <laughs> surprise attack. Yeah. It's a polite surprise attack. <laughs> well, um, you shouldn't have attacked him, but uh, you know, we're gonna have to. You, you did go, go a little overboard there, so. <laughs> um, but I'd also experienced like a bad um, natural disaster. One of uh-huh. my towns got like one of my cities because I I I did build in the floodplains. <laughs> But it was such go wrong? it was such good there was such good resources around. I was like, I'll risk it. <laughs> Look at all this water. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so so this this town this this city just got like completely half decimated. Mm. Like uh, it was completely really half, half, half decimated. Completely half decimated. Half, half of it half got t- half of it got completely decimated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and so that also triggered a uh, world council to send aid to me. And these two events were happening at the same time. Mm. So Canada is at war with me to get a get a. Uh, one of Spain's cities back, yeah. but Canada is also sending, you sending aid. me aid. <laughs> yeah, man. What are they playing at? Man? I don't know what they think they're doing. Shit. That's so great. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Keep your eye on those guys. Man. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on them, man. I might <laughs> declare a surprise war. <laughs> I want to hear an update about that uh, yep. uh, next time. Uh, so I've been playing Hearthstone. They released a new solo expansion thing that's quite fun. Uh, what's interesting about this one, uh, they keep, so they, they created this sort of roguelike system where there's like eight different fights in a sequence and each one is a little harder and you have a little more health and they have a lot more health. And between each round, you pick three cards or you, you get a pool of three cards. Uh, and it can oh, and you pick deck. one? Huh? You pick one? No, you, you're, you're offered three pools of three cards. Oh, you pick okay. One pool of yeah, three yeah. Cards. Uh, and... Uh, then they added like special treasures that you could get between some of these. Mm -hmm. And then they added like a pub that you would go to and you could modify your deck a little bit in interesting ways through the pub system. And in this one, they added, uh, treasures that you get at the start of the game. Uh, but they've also just upped the number of things you can unlock through playing. So each, each of these things. Uh, at each iteration of this, they add more of a reason to keep replaying the system. And this time they've just added a whole bunch. And it's 
uh, quite fun. And then they've uh, worked that into the actual gameplay. The bosses of the eight run thing, the eight, eight fight run, uh, have like 300 health compared to the normal, I think, 60 or 80. Oh, shit. And uh, they have like multiple phases, like every 100 health, the mechanics of the fight completely change. Oh, wow. Um, and it carries over to the next run, any progress you make against hmm. that boss. So if you fight it and you get it down to 150 health, and you, the next run you go on, he'll be at 150 health and he'll be oh, at the next cool. phase. Um, and so there is a, quite an interesting incentive to keep playing and that you keep unlocking these things, but then they've also made it worthwhile just from a progression standpoint. And so hmm. I think that's quite cool. That's my, that's my Hearthstone talk for the day. Thank you for joining me. Is is there new cards recently? No. Uh, they they had new cards like a month ago. Okay, they're fine. There was a time. <laughs> there, there was a time I used to like be aware of when they released new card packs because it was always yeah. a big thing. And now I never hear anything about them releasing mm. new ones. You should try the solo adventure stuff, Blake. Yeah, I think you'd enjoy it. I did. Oh, well, way back when I used to play, there was like those adventure. Yeah, you the, you buy the adventure packs. Yeah, it's a similar thing, except it's a roguelike now. Okay, um, and they're quite fun. I think you'd enjoy it. That does sound cool. Like, and you go back to the pub, so it is straight up like an adventure. Like, yeah, well, it's you go yeah, into yeah, a yeah, dungeon, and like, then your your home and base is like the pub, and sort of you, you go to a pub along your journey to, oh, to recruit okay. new members or oh, to get rid of members yeah. or to modify your members. It's That's cool. It's, it is quite cool. Um. It's it's just a solid uh, card based roguelike formula that they've created and improved upon. Is it more fun than just your standard like what are you playing? Uh the arena? Oh, uh is it more fun than the arena? It's different. It's a different experience. Yeah. Because you I mean, so arena you're playing against other players. Yeah. It's high risk, high reward because yeah, you've yeah. you've put theoretically you've put money into it and you could get money out of it, mm. sort of. Um, and this is purely solo against AI. Yeah. With, uh, like you can plan around it, and you yeah. Can, and, and you know, if you lose, uh, you still make progress in a bunch of different areas. Mm. So it's a very different experience. It's um a much, it's it's also much more uh refined mm. because in arena you're just getting random cards. Yeah, yeah. And you're building a deck, and your deck might suck, and your opponent's deck might rule, and you might just get slaughtered. Uh, whereas this is like you are picking from a pre-selected pool of cards and that sort of thing. Mm. So there's, um, it just, it's a, a little more, it, you know, it's a polished experience versus the wilds of multiplayer. When did you last play Arena? Last night. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So you're still playing a lot. Uh, not really. I played one game last night because, or two games last night because I had some quests that I wanted right. to complete. Just doing your dailies. Money. Yep, pretty much. So at that stage where you're like, I don't play much, I just do my dailies. <laughs> I um, hate I hate when games are like when when games get to that point. Why? I don't know. There's just you're not even playing it. Why even bother? Yeah, fair point. Yeah. Uh, I because <laughs> I've I, I've heard this like so many times from just other games, like mostly MMOs, a lot of World of Warcraft, where you're like, oh, you play you play this, and it's like, no, nah, not really. I just log on, do my dailies. Uh, the for Hearthstone, the quest, the daily quests are the main way you make gold yeah and i spend that gold either on arena mm-hmm. uh when there's a new card set out i yep. like to play arena for a few weeks yep. or on the solo adventures okay which are a buy once and you get it but it's like 700 dollars right so 700 coins rather per uh per wing and there's like four or five wings yeah so yep. you have to have enough money to get those things or yeah. you have to pay real money and i'm not gonna pay it's, real money like i excuse me <laughs> like I do like, I do like daily mechanics, but I like them when I'm playing the game. I don't ever want to think like, oh, I need to get on right to do them. Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was, I remember like Destiny was probably the last game that I was playing that had um, like daily mechanics and stuff. Yeah, they were great, and I'd be like, and it had dailies and weeklies and stuff, and I was like, oh, that that that's great. But then it got to a point where like I had a mate of mine being like, come on, man, let's jump on. We got to do your dailies, and I'm like, I don't like yeah. doing this. Yeah, and and I've certainly hit that wall on a bunch of games, including Hearthstone before. Yeah, um, but you know when a new set rolls yeah, around, yeah, it's it's cool. uh, it's it's more like a bonus. Yeah, yeah, um, that's what I that's what it should that's that's how it is it should feel. It's yeah. like it's a bonus, not like a requirement, like not yeah. like a chore. Um, 
the Elder Scrolls card game does something that a lot of mobile games do, which is they have daily rewards, and the rewards get better and better for each day that you log in. Oh, really? So, um, and they reset it at the start of every month. Yeah. So, like, if you log in every day throughout the month, you end up getting, like, several packs of cards, and you get, like, a legendary How card. How often do you log in and not play, just to get that? Uh, I will... I, I maybe play one out of three days. So, uh, and you can also store three daily quests. So, okay. like, it's a, you know, you, yeah. you save up the quests, and then you just sort of blow through them, and then... And you, but I log in, and we'll get my reward. It takes, like, ten seconds. Mm. Um... So talking about mobile games, I'm yep. compiling a list for you of uh, I'm going through <laughs> previous oh, no. comments from people oh, no. uh, who have suggested games for you uh -huh. uh, over the years, and I'm compiling a list for you <laughs> to uh, to work your way. They still never play. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I'm aware of what I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Can't wait. Uh, all right. Well, I'll, I'll happily have a look at it at least. I think there were some card games on there that yeah. I wanted to try. I think so far my list is two things. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it that's is, the minimum of a list, really. It is the minimum really. of a list. Otherwise, it's, it is a thing. <laughs> You've, I've written down a thing. <laughs> yep. uh, but guys, if anybody else, if any other listeners have uh, recommendations for Nick of uh, mobile games, specifically card games, send them in and I'll add them to this uh, list. Mm. Yep. Do it. Yep. And uh, maybe one day I'll look at it. Maybe <laughs> one day Blake will show me the list. Yep, one day. Probably not. Um, You guys got anything else to talk about? I, I thought one of you guys would be into Borderlands. Nah. I mean, I, I liked the original Borderlands, and then I played a little bit of Borderlands 2, and I was like, nah. Mm. I, yeah, I played a really little bit of Borderlands 2, but I had a, I had a, I had a bummer of an experience because I, I jumped, I, I started playing, and I was like, kind of enjoying it and then somebody else was just in my game mm. and i realized it was what? like yeah it was a, a mate of mine on steam who had just joined my game yeah. oh gross. and then he was like way higher level and yeah. then and then my other another mate joined uh. and they were both like all right blake we'll run you through this stuff and so no! they were they were like two minutes ahead of me and i was just going around collecting the stuff <sighs> and i was like well this isn't fun anymore yeah this is a this is a, a rule i have Never play a game with friends who have already played the game. Yeah, because you literally are, you're just playing catch up. It's not fun. Yeah, it's the worst way to. I felt like I was just playing catch up the whole time. That was my experience. I've talked about this in the past. That was my experience for D two. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. D yeah, those games are bad for that. Yeah, like that's yeah. You need you need to experience the base game yeah. before you start playing the friends. I find I I'm I really like. Uh, like stories and games, I'm interested in in what's going on in the story. Yeah, and then when you're just getting run through like that, you you have no time to enjoy any story or anything. That's true. Uh, yeah, I had the friend I was playing with D two, D two with rather. Yeah. He he would run to an NPC, run then immediately run away. Yeah. And I, and go, okay, well, now we're going to this quest, and I was like, Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I don't even I don't know like where it. we are. Yeah. Huh. Uh, are they always centered around a quest? You can't just hang out. I mean, you can for hang example, out. like uh, I'll jump onto Red Dead or Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> yeah, the uh -huh. only games that I play with mates. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, you and could we'll have just cut hang off out. with mates there. We'll, we'll yeah, just, but we'll you've you've out. played that game a lot. This is like yeah. if you had just first jumped on Red Dead for the first time, yeah. And your mates and you you were like, oh man, what's this new uh, new story or whatever? That, that or like, happened to me recently. Yeah, yeah. I, I found out a guy at work played Red Dead. Ah, yeah. And they had their update, and we were just hanging out with this guy, and we were just harassing this other random player that we come yeah. across. And that was fun. <laughs> but you but, but that's different. It sounds like you guys are on an equal yeah. footing here. Like it Not not at all. Uh I'm way higher level than this one guy. He's basically a fresh guy. Okay. Let, let me run you through a different scenario. You you've never played Red Dead before. Okay. Your friend has. Mm -hmm. And that you've there's co-op in this in the in the campaign. Okay. And he races ahead, he does all of the things and you are just trying to play catch up. No, I, I see how yeah. that scenario happens, mm. but uh, I haven't had that in Red Dead, and I right. just wonder uh, what yeah, the well, underlying things are. It's a very different style of game. Yeah, yeah. Any well, sort of multiplayer, like, co-op game, especially where there's, like, looting or quests involved, mm. can very quickly devolve to, like, you are just playing catch-up. Right. Especially a classic game like Diablo 2 or, or yeah. Borderlands, where it's people really understand it. Almost any MMO as well that's just, like, you, you know, you... 
do MMOs quests. are a little more forgiving, I think, because there's like slower spawn rates and yeah, but it's still not and it, slower it, gameplay in it, general. It's it's still not fun. Like I don't like being carried through things. It's no, yeah, I agree. It's yeah. a bummer. You also need to learn how to play. Yeah, because if you're getting carried through the whole time, yeah, you get to high level and it's yeah. like, and they're like, great, now we can actually play the game, and you're like, I don't know what any of my skills do. Yep. I don't know how to gear my character. Mm-hmm. I don't know how any of these fights work. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever, listeners, if you're going to introduce your friends to a game like Diablo 2 or Path of Exile or Borderlands, uh, make them play alone first or let them set the pace. Mm-hmm. Don't do anything. Don't, if don't give them gear. Don't try and do them any favors. Mm-hmm. Uh, let them experience it and be there to answer questions. That's you, my advice. You could also just make a new character, right? But no, I mean, they. this is what happened for Diablo 2. Okay. We made a new character. But I don't know the quests. I don't know how to, you know. Oh, so I my see. friend races ahead and does all the stuff because okay. he's played it yeah. on a million characters. I see, I see. Yeah. yeah. So it uh, genuinely let them set the pace. You can make a new character. Just let them take the lead. Mm-hmm. That's my advice for... Love it. Nick's advice. Um, hey, Sav. Yo. Did you see that there's a new DLC for Ashen? I did, yeah. Are you thinking of getting it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Yeah. Um, but i got to finish this control game, man. Oh, man. It's it's good. Did you finish Ashen? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does um, the DLC take place after the end game? I don't know. Probably. I, don't know. It I looks think like it's an another island. island. Yeah. Yeah. I, seeing that DLC makes me go, man, I need to finish this game. Because mm. I got, you know, two thirds of the way through. Not like I'd won. <laughs> uh-huh. Did you actually get two two thirds? I think I was. I I think I was like. Oh, you were right there. I I was. I think I was. I had the end in sight. I think. Mm-hmm. I think. But you you ended up getting further than me. Yeah, there's more to that. Yeah. Um, I thought it was the last. Yeah. Boss, but no, there was more. There is more, and yeah. I haven't figured out. It it goes very dark. E- even more dark. Even more dark. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I am interested. I think I've, I think I've seen how that game ends. I think I've seen the last boss. Well, don't don't spoil anything. Spoilers! It's a monster. Whoa! Son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually out of time. Um, so I'm just gonna randomly select <clears throat> a short question from this list. We'll answer it, and then we out. Uh, hey, Frenzy Cast. I was wondering if any of you played World of Warcraft back in the day, and if any of you are excited about the re-release of the old iteration of the game, Classic World of Warcraft. Thanks. Have a great day. Regards. Ruth. Funny. Uh, Justin, this is a very timely <laughs> timely message. Have you have we already read this one out by any chance? No. Okay, good. Um, no. <laughs> I, I No w- interest? No. I'm I played tempted. that game when it came out. I'm tempted. But only for, like, the thing is, I will go, th- I'd want to just play by myself. Because I've got I've got mates that are going through now and yep. they're playing it and stuff and I mean they're having a good time but I kind of want, want them to power level you to this. I don't want them. I certainly <laughs> don't want them to power level me. Um, but I kind of just want to go through and just like walk through my memories. Yeah, that's kind of it. It's an. It, I think that's the most most of the reason why people are playing it is it's nostalgic. Yeah, it's it's so nostalgic. Um, I uh, remember trying to re level a character before I think. Uh, cataclysm. Oh yeah. So the, functionally, yeah, it was still the, basically, the old leveling yeah, experience, yeah. and it was a real bummer. Hmm. <laughs> and so I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It was. It's funny. I was telling. Well, I was mate of mine's been talking to me about it because he's been playing it, and yep. um, he got to. I think he was like level forty something at the time, and he'd been playing it for like a week. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty good. And then he's like, yeah, I'll, in a couple of days, I'll probably be sixty. And I was thinking, dude, do you not remember? No. What that like so leveling slows down curve the was, yeah. Holy and then like two weeks later, he's like, "Yeah, I'm level fifty something now." Yeah, I'm like yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm. I. Th- I think I spent like three or four weeks in Eastern Plague Lands. Yeah, trying to get to sixty. It was yeah. a nightmare. Severn, you gonna play? Um, shit, no. If you've never that played big before, <clears throat> big, very big surprise. Yeah, like, I, I. I'd never played World of Warcraft, and I don't plan on playing it. I. I, I saw what it did to a, a friend of mine. <laughs> oh man, was it me? No, nah, a uh, friend of mine. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh! But uh, this, fair. This is a long. This was a very long time ago. Um, but yeah, there, there was a guy who was, but he he really was like withering away. Wow. At his computer. Um, was your friend a plant? 
basically, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he was reduced to a plant. Oh, no. But yeah, like, curtains closed in this dark God. room of his parents' house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that could describe almost anybody I know. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, look at... Look around you right now. In, in their parents' house? Blake's not in his parents' house. Oh, right? yeah, my parents are in this place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think we're out of time. So thank you for listening. If you've got questions, we might might answer it in the last... Oh, oh shit. I've got, I've got a thing to say. Oh, We okay. switched to um, Anchor, a new podcast thing. Yep. And it's they've got their own app. <laughs> okay. And you can, like, if you if you have it, if a listener happens to have this thing, yeah. you can, like, send us, like, voice clips or, Whoa. like, questions just through your phone okay. oh my god it's really called, it's called anchor yeah it's called anchor um i think we're gonna well we're joining them because they're free for hosting which is good. that's a good deal <laughs> because we've been paying for for it for yeah the last few this, years believe it or not this is not a money-making endeavor yeah this is a money saving <laughs> thing yeah oh oh yeah, yeah. yes this yeah yeah but the podcast in general well I'm not a money making. i haven't endeavor. given you your share of of the I've no been money the revenue <laughs> It, you, if you want to keep the negative revenue we've been generating, anything about that TV? <laughs> that explains why it's TCL brand, <laughs> um, <laughs> not Sony. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, okay. Download Anchor. Find uh, us. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. It, yeah, it sounds looks, cool. Let's it, post it. We'll post it on the um, the Anchor thing, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hard. We'll publicize Anchor on Anchor. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. No, I'll, 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 we'll, we'll post a, a link I, to it. Like, it doesn't change anything for us. It's just like yeah. they've got an app, and I think they're doing some cool stuff. How does it? Because on our website, I've got all all the stuff links to <laughs> a specific link in Libsyn. Mm. Am I going to have to change that? I don't think so. Okay, so Libsyn will just this is this is riveting. I'm. You know what, Blake? Maybe save this for after the podcast. <laughs> Uh, if you want to find, right if now. you want to find out more <laughs> about the weird intricacies of how Blake has hooked up our podcast trafficking <laughs> website API, uh, you can email frenziequestion at gmail.com and the, the headline should just be Blake, why? Uh, or you can tweet Blake, why to at frenziecast on Twitter. This is not the first time you've said this. We've had tweets before that just says why, uh, facebook.com slash frenziecast. Headline of the message, Blake, why? Uh, Frenzygamer.wordpress.com. Leave a comment. The comment should say, Blake, what's wrong with you? Also, why? Uh, and, uh, of course, YouTube.com slash Frenzycast. You can subscribe and ask Blake why there. Uh, we're sometimes on Twitch. We are always on Spotify. Rate us on iTunes. We're now five stars. Uh, tell your friends about us. Yeah? And... Yeah, we're five stars. Whoa. We've been five stars for a while. Whoa. Yeah, we're five-star podcast. I didn't know that. I know. We're yeah. like Joe Rogan. We're the spiciest Shit. podcast out there. Uh, Actually, I don't know if Joe Rogan's five stars. He might not be. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. We're out of here. Thanks, Leanne. We're bigger than logo. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew, for the music. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Bye. What is wrong with you? What? <laughs> I like hey, those. So how do we, uh, how do we up that API again? Uh, uh, oh, I'm in the middle of trying to... I, I like those questions, man. I, I like it. the podcast I like, like it. Oh, real quick. Uh, is this going to change how we track uh, <laughs> listeners to the episode? No, it's not tracking. It's <laughs> it's linking to a, to a specific no, I understand. M- MP3 link. <laughs> Nick, I don't, you, I don't think you understood what I was asking. You didn't let the man speak. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Well, I've already said it. (laughs) (laughs) It was recorded for all all posterity. Apparently nothing will change, so it's fine.